Did Judas have a choice to betray Jesus? This question stirs up a whirlwind of discussion around the concept of predestination. Some people hold a belief that Judas Iscariot was predestined to betray Jesus, an idea that seems to be rooted in various passages from the Bible including Matthew 26, 25, John 13, 27, 30, John 17, 11, 12, Psalm 41, 9, and Acts 1, 16. But is this interpretation accurate or are we missing something? In Matthew 26, 25, Judas asks Jesus if he is the one who will betray him, and Jesus affirms this. However, it's important to note that by this point, Judas had already struck a deal with the chief priests to betray Jesus, indicating his question was more of a confirmation than a genuine inquiry. The references to scripture being fulfilled in John 17, 12 and Acts 1, 16 are often thought to allude to Psalm 41, 9, which depicts a close friend betraying the psalmist. But does foreknowledge equate to predestination, or does it merely reflect God's omniscience, his ability to know what choices we will make, without dictating them for us? So, was Judas just a pawn in a divine plan with no say in his actions? Let's dive into the Bible to seek answers. Let's start with Matthew chapter 26 verse 25. Here Judas, having already planned to betray Jesus, asks insincerely if he is the one who would betray Jesus. Jesus, aware of Judas's intent, affirms that he will, but this affirmation is not predestination, it's a response to Judas's already made choice. Now let's turn to John chapter 17 verse 12 and Acts chapter 1 verse 16. Some believe these passages suggest Judas's betrayal was foretold in the scriptures, more specifically they point to Psalm 41 verse 9. This psalm tells the story of a betrayal by a close friend, much like Judas's betrayal of Jesus. However, these passages don't necessarily mean that Judas was predestined to betray Jesus. They could simply be an allusion to a common theme of betrayal by a close one, not a direct prophecy about Judas. As we can see the scripture doesn't necessarily point to a predestined betrayal. So, did Judas have a choice? This question brings us to the heart of one of the most essential principles in Christianity. The concept of free will and personal responsibility. We must understand that God's foreknowledge of events does not impose a predestined path on us. Just as a parent might predict a child's decision based on their character, God's knowledge of Judas's choice did not rob him of his free will. Indeed, the Bible underscores this point by highlighting Judas's guilt and regret after the betrayal. His remorse was not the reaction of a man who felt he had been swept along by fate. Instead, it was the response of someone who recognized the gravity of his actions and accepted the consequences. This narrative of personal responsibility runs deep in Christian teachings. Each person is accountable for their actions, and it is through these actions that our true character is revealed. Judas's betrayal was a decision he made, a choice that was his to make. In conclusion, Judas did have a choice. He was not predestined to betray Jesus but made the decision of his own free will.